With election season well underway, some area campaign signs have been vandalized in the process. News 10's James De La Fuente explains. And as the heat increases in the political arena, some area signage is bearing the brunt of the battle. Volunteers for the Castelli campaign telling News 10 one of their signs was vandalized and stolen. The sign was put up on Tuesday evening at 6.30 and it was taken down Friday in broad daylight. Right here in Broad Alban, Matt Costelli volunteers telling us they had a limited budget and spent many hours distributing the signs. We've managed to place just a few of them around Fulton County and it was a gut punch. There's a sense of fair play that's missing today. I mean, years ago, whatever happened to May the Best Man Win? Costelli not the only team being targeted in the battle over the 21st District. Team Stefanik claiming they lost thousands of dollars to vandalism and have reported to local police agencies. Releasing the following statement claiming, in terms of a number of damages collectively, nearly $10,000 worth of stolen, ripped apart, or defaced signs. Castelli's team with the following statement. Very disturbing that someone destroyed a sign that volunteers paid for and put up in Fulton County. It's not only wrong, it's illegal. Leave everyone's signs alone and make your voices heard through your votes, not criminal vandalism. Everyone has a right to express his opinion, you know, calmly, carefully, and with it's a good exchange of ideas and we can help each other grow. Defacing a political sign is a crime in New York. We have reached out to local authorities to verify the damage and thefts we have not heard back. There are a group of people in this country who are not left or not right, not Republican, not Democrat, not independent, who are just causing trouble. Reporting in Broad Alban, James Delafuente, News 10, ABC.